Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players, and Atesh Ordo here. Today, I'm going to be talking about Wampa and his Omicron. Now, he's his Wampa, the Omicron's been out for about a week or two or so. Um, we're finally getting to see gameplay footage of it, and I've been needing to get it set up so I can upload, edit it, and stuff like that so I can get it out. Um, so, as of March 9th, I believe... Uh, I'm going to be uploading, uh, editing, or recording this and uploading it. So, and I'll be doing some call outs to end all be all. Uh, shout out to him because he actually kind of did a unique variant of the Wampa. Well, he's actually said, you know, stay away from tenacity. And that, that makes sense. Um, but he does have a couple of videos. He did a video on completely going, hey, this is why you should have tenacity and so on and so forth. Um, Right now, my Wampa is in limbo again. Like, for the longest time, I had him at a good spot. But now, ah, oh, until I get some good mods, I'm probably going to keep him where he's at. Because I've already remodded him a little bit. Also, um, I was in the literally first place for, like, I think... I think it's about a month, month and a half. I've been in first place, the highest tenacity in the game. Wampa Omicron came out, changed that drastically and now I have someone that beat me but then again I just knocked my tenacity down a bit so I can get some more survivability I also sadly lost 20 speed because that's just what I have in mods so mods are tricky <laughs> so but yes Wampa Omicron I want to quickly go over it real quick what it offers um and I first off I will say this I well y'all are always if you want to get your Omicron uh, two things. If you want to get your Omicron, you will have to have the, the Corner Beast Zeta. So keep that in mind. But I, it's always good to get the Zeta too. Do it. You'll get the healing immunity, and that's going to help you against a lot of teams. Night Sister teams. Um, and, and I'll explain Night Sister teams here, here in a little bit. Um, Night Sister teams uh, and many others, you'll need some good tenacity. But you also need some good potency to land this healing immunity so that your, your, uh, your Wampa could just start stacking up the damage. And taking out those characters that like to heal themselves up a lot. So keep that in mind. Now, that's one number one. Number two, I highly, highly recommend players that are mid-early game to late game. If they have their 7-star Wampa and they're working on getting him to relics for like Jedi Knight Luke... Omicron him first. Literally Omicron him first. He's already starting out really good at being that wild card, you know, soloing character. He's like a nest. Like, you, you still do, you still definitely want to work on your nest, too. Enfy's nest and Wampa early on is going to be really game-changing. Of course, nest has been kind of mitigated to uh, defense in some scenarios or offense, depending, depending on the lineup and what teams and characters you have. But, like, with Wampa, he, for me... For the longest time, he was on defense. My Wampa and Friends teams with either Moff Gideon lead or uh, Savage Press with like a, a tank or two, uh, Zeta Barris, Wampa, and then another. Like, and, and, and my channel is, you know, I've seen, I've done videos on this. And he's done really well keeping that up. And of course, Moff Gideon lead also gives that 30% max health with Zeta Barris. It's going to synergize really well. <laughs> so, but... I highly recommend he be your first Omicron. Why? Because he's in Grand, at least in Grand Arena, he is going to give you a lot of opportunities. Yeah, because you want him on offense now. Like, before, I like, there's a lot of people that do still throw him on defense with, like, a new team, have him the tank instead of Nest. I'd rather see Nest in that spot than Wampa uh, because of the way her kid is versus Wampus. Wampa is now one of the best soloing characters one of outside of a galactic legend, General Skywalker, Malik. Um, he's pretty much one of the best ones. He's soloing a lot of teams. People are facing grievous teams and so on. So I'm going to talk about that as I go on. So, but anyways, getting into it, you know, he gets 100% tenacity. That's huge. His base tenacity is 50%. So that's 150% right there. Um, and if there's no other al active allies, he gets 75% uh, def offense, defense, health, and protection. Um, and so that's, that's huge. That is already huge right there. And then if it's like you're cleaning up some sort of galactic legend, most likely Sith Eternal. Um, and then I have a couple others I'll mention down, uh, when I get to characters to, uh, teams and characters to possibly clean up or, and solo or to avoid. Um, but yes. Um, uh, but then also whenever he's damaged, inflict two stacks of damage over time for three turns that can't be, uh, resisted or evaded. That's huge. 
and then the Furious Foe is reduced by one, and then he stacks 30% tenacity. So he's going to have, literally, he's probably going to be the, throughout the battle, he'll be the highest tenacity character in the game, bar none. Bar none. Actually, if you have, because my Wampa, and I'm going to show this right now, my Wampa is 188%. I think, I think the highest tenacity is like two, I think it's with Hawks. He's like in the two, 230 range, somewhere around there. That's huge. Wampa, if you're soloing with him, oh, actually, no, even with your not so, even if you get the Omicron and Grand Arena and you set him on a team, he's, and I, you have this high of a tenacity, 188% tenacity, he's going to be the highest tenacity character in the game, bar none, literally. 288% before the the icebreaker ability that, you know, he gets 50% tenacity. I, I wish, honestly, I wish CG had at least allowed 25% offense, defense, tenacity, potency, and then doubled with the protection up uh, just so it gives Wampa some potency and tenacity to work with at the start. It would have been nice, but yeah, this this 100% tenacity. This way he could actually be useful in other areas a little better, but then, you know, more dominant in Grand Arena with this Omicron. So, yeah, stacking tenacity is going to be huge. Now, I'm going to go over some teams. Like, End All Be All did, you know, a couple of videos, like I said, and one of the t videos he recently posted today actually goes over some of the Wampa teams. So, also, just FYI, <laughs> that's how close I am to the uh, yeah, 17 out of 20. <laughs> yeah, yay for Omicron's farming. But anyways, uh, Wampa is beating a lot of teams, as well as I'm going to call out some teams that, haven't been beaten yet, but we have a lot more testing opportunity the rest of this week. And then when I get my Omicron out by next week, I'm going to be able to start popping off uh, some teams to beat, depending on what's out there. So, Night Night Sisters. So, first off, I want to go... Uh, and I'll be all did say avoid characters... Here, I'll just do it this way. There we go. Avoid characters with tenacity now. Yes. If you're running one that's more based on what he suggests, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of in this, you know, already tenacity build, and I'm not going to just sit there and move health mods because I need to farm a lot of health mods and other mods, so yay. Um, but I have a lot of health primaries. Uh, avoid tenacity down because, you know, 150 before, before, um, what's it called? Before uh, the slam, uh, he's going to have like 150% tenacity with base and everything without mods and without that. Um, so if you actually run this, it takes them to 75 and then you run like against the night sister team, it's going to just stun lock you plague you out. It, you're, you're done. However, my build, I will probably be able to beat this night sister team. So I am going to test against some night sister teams. I'm going to be openly looking for night sister teams to destroy because he's going to get to the point where his AOE is just going to smash and, hit through all the, uh, like, he's obviously going to counter some of these characters, kill Zombie off, kill a couple others off. Yes, old Daka does stack health. However, with his damage stacking and the chance to inflict healing immunity, because a lot of people are health-based builds, uh, she has a low potency. Like, I still could get 10% more, or tenacity. I'll get 10% more ten tenacity, or is it 20? Oh, I get 20% more tenacity. Right, wait, wait. No, no, it was 10%. Never mind. Thinking of another character with a different mod piece. Yeah, so 10% more tenacity. No one's going to really mod with tenacity. They'll probably have like maybe 20, 30% extra tenacity with secondaries totaled up. But she's going to be afflicted with healing immunity a ton of times. ton of times. And so you're going to be able to weaken her down and then just kill her outright. So plus damage over time. If she keeps damaging, she'll be afflicting a lot of damage over time with the Mother Talzin call in. So I could see Wampa beating Night Sisters. I don't know how high of a relic before he, should, he can't. I don't know. Um, dang it. Uh, Carthonassi. Uh, mission does have stacking potency. If it was 1v1, um, without, you know, if they were able to test it, I'm pretty sure even 1v1 mission still can't out tenacity. Uh, uh, I mean, out potency Wampa's stacking tenacity. So, Old Republic, early game. If you get stuck by those, not anymore. Um... Like, yeah, you can still get armor shred, but eh, yeah. Now, a lot of the requirement teams, like these, like this team here, um, and then probably even the Admiral Akbar team, these rebel teams, dominate. Dominate. You can dominate against those. What the? I bumped it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. Again, some of these uh, rel or these uh, requirement teams, 
if someone throws something like this out, I'm pretty sure Womp is going to dominate these, especially since his basic does can't be avoided, and those dots can't be avoided, so he's going to, yeah. Granted, Savage is going to help clean the team up if they run like that. Again, a couple of these. Um, and all be all did show a, a, a video, a clip of a weaker item Versio, but he's wondering how high of a relic before, you know, Wampa could or couldn't beat uh, uh, an item Versio team. But eh, I don't know. Item Versio is unique, so he the tenacity stacking is going to be huge against them. And so they'll be able to keep countering, and then he can daze the enemy. So because a lot of the a lot of the characters don't build tenacity, they're just unique characters that are like Nest and uh, Hux and Malik. So don't take them against Malik. Uh, Director Krennic team Phoenix. I'm pretty sure he'll destroy Phoenix now because in the past Phoenix, once you get a Zeta or two on Phoenix, I noticed like my Wampa always got destroyed, even though it was low geared. Because they just out damage, especially with it with, with Sabine and you throw the armor shred, it really, yeah. But then again, I was also still working on mods and yeah, it, it was tricky, but yeah. Um, he also showed a preview of facing these next three teams, Mon Mothma, Grievous. Oh no, not this one. Um, any Newt team. So yeah, they're going to be, you know, really, really good. Uh, so I, I'm definitely excited to see how that goes. I, I wouldn't mind seeing how good of a... Er, if I actually can myself beat these teams, I just have to see, you know, stacking damage and all. Yeah. Um, Emperor, uh, Sith Eternal. There's some very Sith Eternal teams that he can actually beat. So, if, you know, honestly, Sith Eternal, throw it on offense. Granted, yes, if you're facing someone that doesn't have an Omicron Wampa, you might get away with sneaking out a, a hold because they just change different if you don't throw them on normally. So, and then of course, these are some cleanups I'm thinking of. Granted, Unfortunately, he does have this guy has a a, a can't be evi a, a resisted days on him, which kind of mm, that's the only downside with this one. But at the upside, you know, it gets nasty up. I don't, I don't see him like if he's if he's by himself, especially under a without a leadership. I'm pretty sure you're going to be a lot better off that you might have a chance to clean him up, but it may you know take a bit. So it's just more of a full on auto go. Um, so yeah, that's. And then Ray, there's a chance maybe he can beat, but at the same time, probably not just because of Whirlwind and all that. He, she'll just pop. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what he can solo. Like Endal even mentioned Lord Vader. I don't see that because of the high, uh, t the irresistible days there too. So I think mostly he's going to be good against the Eternals and we'll have to see what else. Now I'm going to tell you some characters to avoid. Ir irresistible days is, st or not, yeah, days is stuns, uh, fracture, um, isolate Darth Nihilus is annihilate Commander Tano's annihilate and massive uh, nuke damage. Um, I, the only reason why I'm doing Aura Sing here is if you actually run against the Aura Sing Mando team on defense, don't do it. Especially, well, it, as long as they have the Mandalorian, don't do it because you know Mandalorian Rex Light, it, they're just gonna annihilate Wampa. Um, Jedi Knight Luke, irresistible stun, and plus, uh, Jedi Knight Luke's uh, Irresistible Stun. Until the end of the counter, they lose 10% max health and protection, so he loses a durability. So Luke is going to just sit there and you know counter. He's going to slow the Wampa down. Don't do it. Um, General Skywalker, straight up don't do it, because when he doesn't have... Again, that's kind of the same scenario. If Wampa doesn't have protection or protection up, General Skywalker is going to reduce his health to nothing. Uh, Dash Rendar... Uh, irresistible stun or no, not stun. Uh, days, Star Killer. I don't see him going against the Star Killer team. If he does, you know, if someone literally is willing to sacrifice a battle for that, go for it. I highly doubt that's even a thing that'll happen. Especially if once Star Killer goes to the uh to the Star Destroyer, because I do notice that he doesn't need any allies to get to the Star Destroyer. Um, if he, you know, if it's like he's the last guy standing. You know, now you could clean up if you if you've killed Star Killer, Wampa could clean up that team, um, as long as it's not with like crew and Malik and stuff. Uh, Malik, uh, Jedi Knight Revan, another character. Don't run against, especially against his lead. He's gonna mark increase cooldown, but the cooldowns will be D in or whatever. But anyways, he does reduce the max protect or health based on if someone has max or protection up or bonus protection. Don't do it. Just just don't. Um, uh, and then of course, you know what, 
again, what end all be all says tenacity down will ruin Wampa if you are not running a high tenacity build or a decent high tenacity, because there's got to be at least a certain amount of tenacity above. Like if you can get, if you can run end all be all's build where it's pure health mods, like with a potency cross and some good in like 10% tenacity across the board on the secondaries, you're going to, uh, cause that's an extra 60%. So you're already at a hundred. So take it to two, but then you'll go back down to a hundred. So it's like, yeah, you might have to be close to 150% tenacity to have the tenacity down, not affect you as badly. Uh, or even, even where my womp is at a hundred, it'd be 280. So that's 140, which is normally close to where a lot of people get their Enfys nest to not uh, be inflicted with debuffs right away. But then he gets stacking tenacity off of that. So it, it's going to be tricky to see what happens in the best build for Wampa as time goes on. Um, but I do like the idea of end all be alls for survivability to let him survive as much as possible. I'm just going to quickly show a, if I, ha I should have it, I'm going to go show... Uh, there we go. Barris's. I, yeah, I got to re-update this. This is where mine health is. That's huge survivability. That's like, yeah, it's going to be huge um, on his survivability. He's going to get 75% if he's cleaning up. Yeah. But then you go down to 74% tenacity. So that's 174%. So it's not bad. Just avoid, at that point, avoid characters with tenacity down. But aside from that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Wampa. Are you excited to see where Wampa goes with his Omicron? Are you not? Let me know in the comments below. I, I personally still say there should be some more tweaks to his kit. Just to make him better in overall sense. Not like make him uh, where he's Grand Arena good now. But just make him just a little bit better. Tenacity, potency, defense, that kind of stuff. I've already kind of mentioned one of the things. I personally kind of wish he was immune to fear as well as his roar would have a chance. Like, like his, if his Furious Four foe's roar had a 50% chance to inflict fear on everyone, that would be mm, beautiful. But I, I know they don't want to, like, make Wampa, like, super broken, but eh, yeah, we could dream, right? Unless they make it to where they do offer that option, and then he can't inflict fear if he has the, um, if the Omicron is active in Grand Arena. So in TW, he can inflict fear, you know. So, but also I wish, um, one last thing I wish to say is I wish this was allowed in, uh, conquest as well. This is one Omicron. I would say a hundred percent should be in conquest. It would give players, uh, that are running low on stamina on a lot of their characters mid game, uh, not late game because I, people, if they have six GLs are going to have a lot of teams, but like mid game, if they have one or two GLs plus what they have, It'd be nice to have that little bit extra oomph from a character. And Wampa would be good, especially with the data cards on top of it. But aside from that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a phenomenal day.